What is the people? This is via search query. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your config file on EthoS. Now, there are two main types of config files. One is the local config and the other one is the remote config. Now, as the name suggests, local config, it is stored locally and hence on the USB drive or the SSD that you're using to run EthoS from. And the remote config, it is stored on a web server remotely or on your own network. Now, EthoS provides a service known as the Config Maker and its URL, URL is configmaker.com and you can host your config on this site. We'll come to that later, but first we'll start with the basics of config. Now to get started on the local config, the first command that you will run is force local. Now what this command does is that it empties out remote.conf or the remote config file stored and hence it would allow you to change the local config and save it. If you don't run this command, then after every 10 minutes or after every reboot, the config will revert back to the default one. So now let's jump over to the terminal. Now this is not the terminal of EthOS, but to make it look similar, I just opened up my Raspberry Pi. Now the first thing that we'll type is nano local. Nano is the text editor and local.conf, it is the file name. So we click enter and now this is the file. Now in this file, you'll find everything that is required. The first line is for setting the max GPU temperature of your GPUs. The next one is for startup proxy, leave it enabled. The next line proxy wallet. Now you will have to change this wallet from the default one. The fourth one being proxy pool one and proxy pool two. Now these are the two pools that you will add Make sure that both the pools are the same, just to make it, just use a di different location. This is the default flag for ETH miner and the global fan percentage. Now under this is everything that you'll need to know about the config. This line, global miner, ETH miner. Now this can be changed to any one of these, Claymore, Claymore XMR, SG minor, SG minor, minus GM mass, SG, uh, XMR, CC minor, DSTM and so on. Pool pass one and pool pass two. Now these are the li lines that you will use if your pool requires a password. Pool email. Now this line would be required for nano pool as it requires the email ID to change the minimum payout. This, these are the default flags, global core, global mem, global fan, global power tune. Now these four lines, or let's say these three lines, core, mem, and power tune. These are for OC or underclocking. And these would be used in that. And these last three, I don't use them much. As you can see over here, everything is described. Now these values, these were global values and hence it, they would be applied to the whole rig or to all the GPUs. But now if you want to go into a higher precision, then you will use these core, mem, fan, power, volt. Volt does not work on NVIDIA cards or the R9 and HD series cards of AMDs. These would only work on RX cards. The format is simple. First, the variable name that is core, mem, fan, power, volt. Next, the host name. Now, the thing I get asked a lot is how to get the host name. So the easiest way to get this is by just tapping in host name in the terminal and it will give you your computer's host name. What host name is, is that it is the last six characters of your Mac ID. And then the values. Now these values, the first one represents GPU zero, next GPU one, 
GPU 2 and so on. Same goes for the other values as well. Those were for overclocking and underclocking or undervolting. Now these values, these are for the minor variables. Minor host name is minor. So this would describe the minor for this specific host name. Now why one would need this, I'll cover it in the later part of this video. MXT, that's the max GPU temperature. REB, meaning reboot, host name and one. Now this would be used in the remote config as well. So what this would do is that if you increase the counter to one, by default it is zero. If you add reboot, host name and one, then the rig would, then the rig would reboot within 10 minutes based on the remote config. If you increase to two, then it would increase, uh, then it would reboot again and so on. Loc, LOC, now this would set the location and the worker name. The location would be shown on the panel and the worker name would be applied to the wallet. Cell or select command. Now you would use this command to select specific GPUs as typed over here 1, 2 and 4. So only GPUs 1, 2 and 4 would be used for mining. GPUs 0 and 3 would be disabled. Same goes for off but it's the complete opposite. If it's like off 0 and 3 then GPUs 0 and 3 would be turned off. Next line wallet. Now this line would be required if you are using multiple wallets and multiple multiple wallets in, a, in the same remote config. Rig pool 1, rig pool 2, rig, pass, rig pool pass 1, rig pool pass 2. These are similar to wallet. That is, these would be specified to the specific host name. Driverless mode, you, you really don't want to use this because we want to make money using these GPUs. Everything is explained over here. Now this is the third type of um, GPU value allocation. So over here you are using the BIOS name and the BIOS name for and so what this would do is it would says it would set core to 11 to 1050 on this specific BIOS and hence GPUs with this BIOS would take that setting. Same for mem, fan, power, volt. Now these are the Config uh, samples that are given. So the other way that you could um, assign specific pools and wallets to specific miners is by adding the miner name equal to and the config parameters, which are wallet, pool, and pool pass. So if one wanted to add a specific pool for claymore then what they would do is they would just type claymore equal to proxy pool one and so on proxy pool two proxy uh, proxy wallet pool pass one pool pass two and so on and the last five uh, the last lines are for sample of dual minor the dual minor sample it does not show this but it can be host specific as well. Hence, if you want to set it globally, you would just set dual minor enable, dual minor coin, pool, wallet, and pool pass. And if you wanted to make it specific to a host, you will just add dual minor host name enabled, dual, dual minor coin host name sire or decreed or Pascal or the any or any other coins. And this is what I basically explained the reboot nodes. If you ever skip or forget this, then open up this file and edit it out. So that was the local config and the parameters. What I normally do is I want to remove as much clutter as I can. So I just remove everything that is unnecessary. So I 
So I'll just go to the first line, press Ctrl and K and spam it. That's it. A clean local config. Now to save it, all you have to do is press Ctrl and O and it would ask if you want to save it. So we'll just click in yes or uh, we'll just press enter and that's it. And then just Ctrl and X, that is exit. That's it. The local config is saved. Now if you want to open it or edit it again, we'll just type in nano local.cnf press enter and the local config is there. So now that this is done, we'll just copy this thing and we'll go to config maker because now we are moving to the remote config. So as we just copied this, we'll just paste it in remote config and this would act as a new config. So that's it. We edit it and we'll just click on save changes. And this would give us a hash and a public link. So if you open up this public link, it would show the same config. Now, if I just add in and if I just save it, it would save it. And if we just refresh the same config link again, it adds it. That's it. Just make sure that you bookmark this page so that if you want to edit it again, you won't have to manually type it. If in case you forget this, then you will have to make a new config, which is simple, but it would be hard if you have multiple rigs. You'll have to manually go and change this link on each and every one of them. Oh, and I forgot one thing. That is custom panel. There is this line. This is important if you want your own custom panel. You just add in custom panel, space, public and secret. So the only difference is the public is the six digits that would be shown in the panel and the secret so that no one else can add their rigs on your panel. Let me show an example. Now, this is a panel which is set with custom panel. This is the main developers panel and hence it has seven letters. But normal panels, they would have six letters such as this. Now this panel, this has all these rigs named under the same panel and the panel name would not change even if the external IP changes. So that's it for this video. So thank you for watching this video. Like this video or dislike it. Subscribe to the channel, share it, go through my other videos and see you next time. Ta-da!